15 months. It's been a lot of tough days and a lot of uh, tough roads to, to go down, but there's also been a lot of highlights, a lot of joy, and a lot of great moments that we got to experience. But some of the greatest moments we were able to bring kids back for athletics. And, get it, and also then the next greatest moment is bringing them back in the hybrid model and seeing them walk our halls again. And that's uh, been some of the few joys that we've had, but they've been great. Another one we've had is been able to watch kids excel and do great in academics and athletics. And today we're honoring six athletes who are going to continue to be great students, but also be able to compete at the collegiate level in athletics, which is an unbelievable honor that they've definitely earned. And right now at this moment, we're going to be honoring Mr. Carson Christman here. Uh, he's going to be taking his endeavors to Minot State University and Minot, um, uh, Dakota, yeah. Uh, North Dakota, and he's going to uh, be on the gridiron uh, representing and, and representing himself and everybody really well. So we're excited about it. Let's give him a hand for that. <laughs> First and foremost, I'd like to thank a few people. I want to thank Coach Teeter uh, and his staff for the years uh, they put into working with him and all the athletes, the amount of time and energy, the, you know, the countless hours in weight rooms, on fields, summer workouts, what they really provide for these kids, and especially with Chris with the great relationship he's had with them. I also want to thank uh, the family members that are here today. You know, you've had a lot, obviously, to do with this, and uh, you've been a part of it. You've been part a, a long time. A long time you spent with him along his journey to where he's headed. Uh, of course, mom and dad and parents. I want to thank our school community, teachers, uh, everyone that's been involved in Carson's academic success at school at Lakewood High School, and what he's represented. And Carson, I want to end by thanking you, uh, the way you've represented yourself, your family, our school community, the football team, the baseball team, whatever you've been a part of. When you walk out of the community and you're wearing jerseys, we know that you're doing it right. We don't have to worry about uh, you out there because you're, you're representing us the way you should be represented. So I want to thank you for all that in your four years here. All right? I'm going to turn it over now to Mr. Teeter. He's going to talk a little bit. He's going to read a little bit of uh, a little bit of info from the administration, and then he's going to have to say a few words. And then Carson, when he's done, we'll turn it over to you a little bit to say a little bit of if you want to say some things to thank some people. And then at that time, we'll continue to sign away, okay? Mr. Teeter, it's up to you. All right, so first I'm gonna read a letter uh, that was written by our uh, administration, Ms. Grisham, Mr. Blair. He says, Carson Crispin, congratulations. We are so proud that you have earned the right to continue your academic and athletic careers at the collegiate level. You've worked incredibly hard to achieve this goal. Most importantly, you have excelled in the classroom while maximizing in your development as an athlete. Carson, thank you for all your hard work, dedication, school spirit, and leadership that you have put in while here at Lakewood High. Parents, thank you for the countless hours, support, and dedication to your student athlete and to Lakewood Sports. We want to thank you for representing Lakewood High School, and we wish you the best of luck at the next level. We are blessed here at Lakewood to have such a great community. Best of luck in your future endeavors. Once a Cougar, always a Cougar. And this will be yours to keep, and you can sign right there. And uh, there's also something that we do here at, uh, in the high school football program. You want to hold that right there real quick. Uh, we have a wall in the locker room called Collegiate Cougars. And every time we have a, an athlete that moves on to play at the collegiate level, uh, we put a plaque on the wall down there for them. And uh, I, have to, I had to make a black and white copy. I apologize for his Minot State Beaver logo. The color one is sitting at home, so that'll be replaced when this goes up on the wall. Um, but uh, there's a, a little bit in here that talks about him, gives his statistics. I wish this was like a page and a half because there's so much more I'd love to say. I just had to put a few highlights on here. It says, number two, Carson Crispin, wide receiver, defensive back, 2017 to 2020, Minot State University. Carson is one of those rare athletes that performs his best in the biggest moments. I'll ad lib a little bit here. Just thinking of things like our, our state playoff game uh, down in Hawkinson. Uh, a couple years ago, pick six to start the game. Uh, the state game before that against Squim, he had a uh, three touchdown reception. So when the team needs it the most, he's, he's ready to perform at his best. Here in first team, all conference on both offense and defense as a junior and as a senior. Carson finished his career with four return touchdowns, two punt return touchdowns, two interception return touchdowns. That's second in Lakewood High School history. He also is number eight all time in receptions and receiving yards, and fourth in career passes defense. He returned a kickoff, an LHS record, 98 yards versus Archbishop Murphy. Thank you. Uh, his career statistics are all also listed here as well, and uh, again, this is just a snapshot. It doesn't tell who you are. 
Um, and I want to thank you for all of your hard work and effort um, and, and the support, obviously, from the parents. Um, you've dedicated yourself to this, even to the point, uh, you know, coaching baseball, you're a starter freshman year on in baseball, and I was thinking he's going to come play baseball. Um, and he said, you know what, I want to dedicate myself to getting faster in any way I can for my collegiate career. And I talk to your track coaches all the time, and they are just thrilled. They say how well you're doing there, going out and picking up the javelin and, and sprinting and winning the 100 and the 200. And I'm proud of you and what you're doing there as well. I miss you in baseball, but I'm proud of you, and I know you did the decision that's going to help you in your career. And I support that decision. And I'm very proud of you, and it's been a true honor to coach you. So congratulations. You're welcome. You want to sign that right there? So uh, Carson, before you sign that, you'd like to say anything? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the spot. Uh, I guess thank you to everybody here. Push me and make me better. Thank you from my weight room in eighth grade all the way till now. I'm going to get better. Thank you guys for helping me get here. Opportunity. Pushing me. Thank you. Congratulations, Congratulations. Congratulations.